So what content should you include in your email marketing? Well, this depends on what kind of content your product or service uses. So if you're posting content daily to your blog, then this is what you should be using in your emails to spread awareness to your subscribers. This is a great starting point because it's already been made. You've already done the work. People who have subscribed to your list will be interested in what you're posting on your blog or what you're doing on social media. So that's why they have signed up because they're interested in you and your product. So what you can do is take bits of what you have posted online, for example, your blog, and reuse it in your email marketing campaign. You can send people updates on your product launches, or if you have a sale going on, send out an email to let them know. Or if you have a new video on YouTube, add that link in there. It's all about bringing awareness and keeping your audience engaged in your product or service. You might have heard the saying that goes, story is king, and this is so true. Telling stories has been around for about 40,000 years, from drawings on cave walls of animals and tribes, telling their stories of how they lived, the animals they saw, and how they hunted together. Humans are hardwired to love and respond to stories. We love dramas and movies. You can use stories of your own from real life events. For example, if you're selling skincare, you could tell the story of how you were looking for so long for your perfect skincare. You were struggling with bad skin, day in and day out, until you finally found this unique skincare. Another perfect example is the Apple commercials. They don't just say, hey, buy our new iPhone. It's got a better camera. Oh, and it's waterproof. That wouldn't work and they definitely wouldn't be where they are today doing things like that. Instead, they create a compelling imaginative story that pulls you in and takes you on a little adventure, getting you to visualize how good their product is. If you need inspiration, you can look at what your competitors are doing. You can read magazines and see which stories you are drawn to yourself. Even watch dramas and take notice of their stories. You're not copying, but you're taking inspiration and forming your own stories from that. It's also a great idea to create a content calendar which tells you what you need to post and when. It could also be a Word document with the blog posts you're going to use, again, or the content you're going to send out. It could also list any assets that you need. So for example, if you need to create a new animation or take some new photos of your products, you'll have everything written down so it's all organized. You're basically organizing everything so you know what you need and when you need to do it for the content in your email marketing. Once you've got those things down, you can then have an editorial calendar, which should tell you when you need the content ready by and when you need new assets. When you've got this timeline planned out, that's when you can go and write your emails. You'll then know exactly what you need to do, what's going to be written and what to include in them. This is also beneficial for anyone working with you so you're all on the same page. By the way, whatever your emails are about, you want to make sure you're focusing on telling people what your business or service is about, or what are the seven top tools to explode your business, not how to use these tools. This is because you don't want to give everything away. You want to keep the best stuff for people to buy from you. You're just giving them a teaser of what you're offering. This also creates desire and wonder in the eyes of your subscribers. In the next video, we'll be looking at the types of email that you should be sending out.